you're sorry. What do you mean you're sorry? You're sick in the air chasing. He told me last night. Oh, come on, mate. You look perfect. I'm a bag of nerves. Why can't a handsome man just walk through that door and whisk us <laughs> off our feet? Is it so much to us? All right. How can your life fall apart in six hours? You sound very oh. sorry. <sighs> you know, every morning I wake up, I make one bad decision after another. I hope you're not putting Michelle in that category. I'm handling it, all right? Oh, you've said that before, haven't you? Look, if you don't trust me, you just need to tell me to go. It's as simple as that. This is my son, Gavin. Oh, really? I'm just sorry. <laughs> For what? Everything. I need to hear you say that you killed Tina. Just because no-one wants you. Hey, she's gorgeous. Any bloke could be lucky. I don't want any trouble. Hand it over, then. No. You what? Have you spoke to that dealer? You can trust me, babe. We don't really talk about money. But I imagine she's got a tidy sum tucked away somewhere. Something's changed. I can't put it right, and he doesn't want to. Do you know what time it is? <gasps> this isn't funny, you know. I'm assuming that you're related to Todd from the show. Yeah, he's my brother, unfortunately. And if this is some sort of wind-up by him... Your brother's been assaulted this evening. I need to see you before I go. I don't want to go to prison. I want to come with you. I'm dreading the bill. I'm going to get an advance on my wages. Hundred pounds each? How can I refuse? What's going on here? You're sick. You want drugs? Get lost. Uh. I'm ready. Casey! She's abandoned her daughter and gone to be with Rob. That silly, silly girl. We should wait. For what? For Tracy to get in as deep as Rob. Where the hell have you been? Look, I'm... You what? You're pathetic? Well, my face go back to normal. The injury to the tissue is quite extensive. I'm afraid it's unlikely to heal without leaving a scar. Permanently? I'm afraid so. <laughs> if you don't show, I'll knock on. See if Max wants his dad to read him a bedtime story. If her alibi is false, it makes a right mess of yours. Rob's version starts to fall apart completely, and Carla's right underneath to catch it. <laughs>